Good evening, everybody. Beards and Beers here. here. Coming with here with you uh, without Jim today. Uh, he'll be he back. Was... Don't don't worry. He's fine. Josh did not kill him in his sleep. It's fine. I was fine. just going to say you didn't kill him, but now we both seem suspicious that we're vouching for the other person. You'll have to see on the next video. I guess, if he's there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're coming to you with, uh, I don't think we've ever done a beer from these. No, brewery, not, on, not on the channel. Like, okay. We've had them, but we haven't yes, done one on the absolutely. channel. absolutely. Well, that's what I mean. Yes. Yeah. No, no. Um, yeah. It's it's a great brewery located over in Louisiana. Abita. It's one of the little more well-known breweries. Abita. We're doing yeah. their Christmas ale today. And... I really like. <laughs> we don't the, have Jim for the, what's going the, on here. You got the good looking art. He always has got, the best lighting. You got the you got the alligators. I just realized those are alligators. Are those alligators Instead or are they crocodiles? Range. Uh, you know I don't know. I always forget the difference. I think alligators Same. have the really long nose, so I think these are crocodiles. Yeah, because it's shaped like an A. That, that would yeah. make sense. Uh, anyways. <laughs> so uh, this is the Christmas ale. It is a brown ale. It is brewed with six different types of malted barley and fermented with American ale yeast. Wow. So uh, just like a, a couple that it's brewed with is like uh, pale malt as well as a combination of caramel, biscuit, Munich, and chocolate malts. Okay. Uh, let's see. Some different hops in this. It has some Columbus hops, Cascade hops, uh, Centennial hops. Like this is a, a very rounded beer here. Like there's yeah. a lot of stuff going on. It it sounds like it's going to be very balanced, and I'm really excited because yep. I love brown ales. They're just so they're mm -hmm. rich without being overpowering. So I'm excited to oh, see yeah. what they've done with a Christmas ale. Christmas so brown it's ale. a brown ale, but it's I it's also considered a dark ale, and it, it comes in mm -hmm. at five point eight percent ABV with okay. uh it's. It, ranks 40 on the ibu scale so okay so might be a little more on the bitter side a little bitterness yeah okay you wanna crack it open yeah let's do it to it oh no tiny is upset oh i may have picked the wrong opener for this oh no that worked all right are we prepared it's the key from jordan's wedding oh nice <laughs> i got you one by the way thank you because i knew you left without one also, I still have their uh, I still have their wedding gift. I forgot to give that to them. So I guess I just have to go to the shop now. Oh shucks. Oh, speaking of, I'm getting a new tattoo on the 30th. Yeah, I know you told me I was gonna go yeah. with you. Figured. But of course. So oh wow, look at look at that has head a on this. Great, great. I think mine shows the color a little better than Miller's. His yeah, looks like my, it's black. My lighting is a little off. So uh, it one thing on their account. website that I was telling Miller about is they actually have a color scale for the beer, which they have it ranked a uh, 25 out of a hundred. So it's not very dark. It's, it's a, it's a fourth of the way up there on, on the scale. So and, if I, if I might add for you beer lovers, I don't know a hundred percent if, cause I want to look it up later, but I think it might be similar to the SRMs, but I'm pretty sure the SRM scale ends at 60 um correct us if we're wrong but i think it's a different color scaling so i want to know what they're using or if maybe the beer world is shifting to something different than srms yep and uh it, it's it just says color love a bond which i've never heard love a bond in any term before so i was like oh that's interesting anyways let's uh yeah, go let's for the smelly smell smelly it. smell Ooh. okay uh you can definitely smell a couple of those different hops in there. Right. You can get a little bit of the the biscuit malt and the chocolate up front there. Uh, I'm getting more of the caramel on the back end of it. And yeah, that that yeast gives it a little bit of a different smell as well. It almost smells slightly like lightly spiced. Yeah. You know, yeah. Um, it's not too aggressive of an aroma. Yeah, but it doesn't have that like. Uh, that like normal spiced smell where you know it's like cinnamon and right it's not cinnamon <laughs> and uh nutmeg right 
Yeah. It's like so, a light spice, but there, it's, it also has the rich aroma that you would find with a brown ale. Yeah, it doesn't, absolutely. I don't know. There's something unique about it that I can't quite pick out. You want to see if we can figure it out by a little taste test here? I would love that. All right. To be fair. Sure, sir. To be fair. Oh, almost forgot to tap. Mm. Okay. That hmm. is. Whoa. That is. You get something on the, like that. You get that aftertaste. That was. Hoppy. Something. Yeah, I was. It's, it's hoppy. Like it, Co- coats your mouth whole, and hops. The whole brown ale just like vanished and it just went. Mm-hmm. Hop! Yeah, it's like the, that that 40 that 40 IBUs just hits you right at the end. Like which it's is not there at, to at me, the start. At the end it just clears out with the 40 IBUs and nothing but that. <laughs> to me that's strangely hoppy for a yeah. brown ale. Like that's a Oh good, yeah, I agree. It, it's almost like a brown IPA. Yeah. Like it hmm. verges on that level of hoppiness. Wow. I, I know we've had a black IPA, but like it's like a richer black IPA is what this you tastes know, and, like. And I I think that just goes I don't know. Yeah, I I think that's something that you should expect with it having uh four different hops that they use in it. Right, so, but I thought that the six malts were gonna sort of counter that hoppiness. They they used very well, aggressive hops hops in this so They're very pro- it's not aggressive prominent hops sure they, they have caramel which is a, a a pretty like sweet kind of malt right um but also like if you think about it chocolate like cocoa right. is yeah. is bitter to begin with so naturally i would imagine bitter. that would ins- accentuate the the bitterness and, the, and uh kind of raise the ibus instead of depending on how it's used you know uh, yeah depending on how it's been handle yeah and i don't then, know uh, why the, anytime i hear chocolate i just assume milk chocolate but mm-hmm. obviously it could be closer to a dark chocolate or like you said the natural cacao or the the, yeah. the cocoa um and then you got the the biscuit and, and munich ones uh the malts in there too so i which, do get some of the breadiness that you mm-hmm. uh, in there um i'm not super familiar with the munich so i don't really know what to expect right um or what it is yeah, releasing, but so I mean, I, I want to say no, it's not what you would expect from a brown ale, but right. looking at the ingredients list, it, it is makes sense kind of what you would expect, you know. It so it's so not like question, a super surprise, right? My question is just can we classify this as a brown ale officially based on everything that we know? Like, can yeah. this be called a brown ale still? I mean, it's made with. American ale yeast, and it, I mean, it has all the other characteristics of a brown ale. Okay. Yeah, so what? What, yeah. what do you? What do you? What are you giving this one? Um, I'm gonna give this one a three point five. I swear to God, you guys always think of my rating. Yeah. Hey, we got we got this like telepathy thing going on, and. With, it just happens. It's fine. Is it brolepathy or beer lepathy? Brolepathy. Brolepathy. Yeah, I was going to do a 3.5. Like a so mix of the two. <laughs> Breer. 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 <laughs> so I, I was. Yeah, I. it's overly hoppy to me for a brown ale. It's not bad. Um. I probably wouldn't go straight to it personally. So I'm, no, it's not. There's a lot of Abita's beers that I like a lot more than this. One. Oh, absolutely. This this man. was not their best by far. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, that being said, we will do another Abita beer. We will. That is. That is fantastic. Uh, yes. So, um, yeah. So, I guess a three point five overall. All right. We can yeah, always we ask agree on that. Jim thinks later, but uh, for now, <laughs> you know, beers and beers out. out.